Hey, this is the build video for a Morse code thermometer robot. Uh, it senses the temperature and writes it out in Morse code. It's pretty cheap and pretty cool and would probably slay as a school project or something, so yeah, check it out. You'll need a whiteboard marker, some breadboards, an Arduino, some motors, a servo, a 9 volt battery, a 1 kilo ohm resistor, a push button, a DHT, temperature and humidity sensor, a switch, a 9 volt battery terminal, a toy truck, and a whole mess of loose wires. We'll wire the circuit like this. I'll add a breakdown of the circuit and the Arduino code at the end of the video. Here we have the Arduino and the breadboard attached to a piece of cardboard. And I'm going to wire the circuit real quick. Voila! I've uploaded the code, and it looks like it works. Now here I'm going to put together the motor construction. Originally it was also hooked up to the Arduino with the motor controller, but the noise from the motors was interfering with the servo, so I just decided I'd isolate the circuit. Uh, here we have the battery attached to both motors, with a switch to turn it on and off. Alright, time to get the toy truck involved. So I've taken the wheels off so that we can attach them to the motors. Here's one of the motors hot glued into the wheel, and I've attached some masking tape to the outside of it so the hot glue sticks to it better. And there we go. I've attached the breadboard to the bottom of the car as well and wired the, the motors into it. And then here is the switch and the 9 volt terminal included in the circuit. Now let's mount the other circuit onto the top of the car. We need to attach the marker to the servo. The way I decided to do that was by taking a piece of this whiteboard eraser, hot gluing it onto the marker to give it some more friction, and then wiring the whole thing through the holes of the servo arm. And there we go. Pops into place. After attaching a battery to the contraption, when we flip the switch, the wheels turn. And here's a test run on the ground. I've attached an eraser to the front to modulate the speed a little bit. Now we want to test out the servo arm to make sure that the angles and the timing are correct. As I drag this paper underneath it, we can see it writing. And if we read it out, that spells out T-E-M-P-I-S, temp is. And time for a full test run. After a few hiccups, we get a full message. And if we read it out, once again, we get ten is. And here are our numbers. One, nine, 19 degrees Celsius. And if we run it again, we get the same result. So there you go, that's the Thermometer Morse Code Robot build. 
And as promised, here's the circuit and Arduino code explanation. Here is the circuit with just the push button component. On the left is an Arduino Uno, and on the right is a breadboard, which is a board you can use to prototype circuits. Uh, the two rows on the top and bottom are connected horizontally, and all other pins are connected vertically in groups of five. With this schematic, we'll read the input from the button from pin two. So the code for just this section looks like this. So we'll define the button pin to be pin two, and define a variable button state to store whether the circuit should be off, low, or on, high. Then in our loop, we'll have this variable store the current state of the button. If the button state is high, stuff will happen. We'll then set our button state to low. Next, we'll add the DHT temperature sensor. Connect positive to positive, ground to ground, and we'll connect our signal wire to pin 7. Adding the sensor to our code looks like this. We have to add a library for DHT, which itself requires another library. I'll put links for the downloads for both of those in the description. And we'll create two variables to store temperature and humidity, and in our loop have these variables update constantly. Lastly, we'll add the servo, positive to positive, negative to negative, and signal to pin 4. We'll add this to our code as well, as shown here. Now we need to fill the do stuff section with actual instructions. Since we want to have Morse code, we'll have to define dot, dash, and space functions. Looking at the dot function here, we see it has the servo arm lower to the down position to have the marker make contact with the writing surface. It waits there long enough to draw a dot and then comes back up. And we define how long that is here in lines 9 and 10 in the units of milliseconds. We want a function to write out temp is before the actual temperature, which is just going to call our dot, dash, and space functions. We'll then write a function for each number. Next, we'll separate the temperature value into two digits to be printed separately, labeled t digit 1 and t digit 2. Lastly, we'll call the temp is function followed by an iself tree to decide which digit to print. And that's it.